More than two weeks after it was officially shut down, ABS-CBN is now facing fresh challenges before Congress. One of those is an inquiry into the authenticity of its land title. Ria Fernandez tells us more. Twelve hearings were conducted at the lower house to comb through each allegation hurled against ABS-CBN. But even if various government regulators cleared the network from any violation, the House Franchise Committee decided to reject its franchise renewal bid. Despite this, lawmakers are not through yet with ABS-CBN. Deputy Speaker Dante Marcoleta has filed Resolution 1058, which seeks to probe the authenticity of the network's land title. Among the issues raised by Marcoleta is ABS-CBN's failure to present its original land title in the previous inquiries. Marcoleta is also wondering how the company's land area has expanded to 44,000 square meters. It's very easy for them to, uh, to present uh, the title that we sought from them. Kunyari, nawala yung original title, like uh, kasi alam ko naman nasunog yung uh, Edicero Pizza in 1988. Mm -hmm. We can understand that, but they can reconstitute the title if they wish to because the land area is substantial. Marcoleta and six other lawmakers, including Presidential Son Davao City Representative Paulo Duterte, also want to look into the loan condonation of the Development Bank of the Philippines to the Lopezes, which is said to have reached 1.6 billion pesos. Resolution seeking deeper probe into the relationship of ABS, CBN, and Amcara Network were also filed. In addition, lawmakers continue to challenge the legality of selling Philippine depository receipts to foreigners. Some members of the minority bloc welcome the new investigation. It's really good to look into it. No, ang importante lang po kasi talagang masagot doon is that meron ba siyang impact sa taong bayan? No, at kung meron at pwedeng may correct, then let's look at it how it can be corrected. For the group's leader, it's also necessary to check on the government regulators that cleared the network. All of the regulators said ABS-7 has not done anything wrong. So, what what is the problem there? So I think that the regulator should also be held uh, uh, responsible and liable. ABS-CBN is yet to comment on this development. For News 5, Rio Fernandez, we are One News.